is on the high level and a lot of places are saying it will take um, years, it will take decades for insecurity to be completely eradicated from our society. Yeah. So how can it do this? To eradicate insecurity needs a collaboration of both the government, community members, leaders, and all stakeholders in society. Uh, we look at the northwest and all the other regions in the north that uh, banditry, uh, terrorism, and uh, insurgency has really stiffened the economic uh, activities of those areas. So we see that uh, efforts need to be made. And I appreciate this effort that this group of uh, states or governors have uh, come together to take a collaborative uh, measure to, you know, curb the insecurity that has grown so wild in these areas. Uh, insecurity can be curbed through strategic combat, through constant or consistent effort of government directing every resources, individuals, agencies on, you know, curbing, fighting to eradicate this menace. So it can be curbed. There's nowhere in other parts of the, let's say in the other parts of the world, mm. they had gone through this ordeal that we are going through today. And they woke up to see that this thing must stop. And they took the necessary measures and were able to achieve it. We can achieve it in this country if the government have the political will and the resolution to see that insecurity is reduced to minimum. It is possible it is obtainable and it can be achieved. So the idea of where these uh, terrorists of Boko Haram are uh, collaborating with some uh, community members, like the case you did mention, where the chief was paid to allow them to come in to do all their evil. So it is in this case that the government also must have have to set up a proper intelligence uh, uh, assign some group of persons to get intelligence reports or information that can aid in knowing the individuals who are collaborating joining hands to participate or to uh, enable these uh, terrorists to attack the communities because a terrorist cannot come to a place where he does not know and successfully carry out his, his activities without being uh, uh, apprehended because for them to succeed it means there are internal uh, individuals factors that are joining hands with them giving them the information telling them what, where, and how they should go, where to go to, to see that they succeed in their evil works. So are, are you saying that uh, the, the level of insecurity is increasing because there are no collaborations, because we have uh, security personnel, we also have uh, local vigilantes, uh, we have, of course, we have people in there in the society that are, are sending out um, um, reliable information to the security operatives. Yes, we know that we, there was a story like we rightly mentioned, that um, it was through the village here that that kind of menace happened. But are you saying that we are not doing enough? There is no, no collaboration of what's up? Yeah, the collaboration usually is heard or seen when these incidences occur. You will hear the government saying that the police, the army, and the vigilante, they are on top of the matter. Mm. <laughs> but the issue is that there should have been... They are not on top. Yes, they are really not on top. They there should have been <laughs> a fundamental uh, arrangement that should, you know, 
uh, prevent that from occurring before you say you are on top of the